one of my favorites uh, to discuss during Purim. Um, doing beautiful in the middle of hard. So if you look at this story, the idea that Queen Esther threw a banquet in the middle of a death sentence over her own head. I mean, can you imagine the grief and the fear sh that was going on through? I mean, talk about <gasps> butterflies and talk about a sick feeling in your gut. And at the same time, this calmness that surpasses all understanding, I'm sure she had. But at the same time, the fear of not knowing if you were going to make it out of that, you know, throne room alive or not, must have been just so present in her while she was actually uh, preparing a feast. So in the middle of war, of which we are in right now, we are supposed to be throwing feasts for Papa. That is, that is what we do, and that is what is so incredibly ironic about this story. If you look at our life, too, she did beautiful in the midst of hard. She dolled up. She got so beautiful. She wanted to win the king's heart uh, with her beauty, and she did. Um, and we are supposed to <laughs> do the same thing. We're supposed to do, we are, if you feel like you're doing crazy things in the middle of hard, that you're trying to throw a banquet in the middle of hard, you're, you're trying to throw these amazing feasts and festivals of Yahweh in the middle of hard, then you're right on track because that is exactly what's gonna, ha what's happening right now. I've done it. I've done it in a teepee. I've done it, you know, in an RV. I've done, this is not what it's always looked like. <laughs> okay, people, this is, this is years and years of it coming together right here and having the space to do it. There's many times that I never had this kind of space to do it. So, but I still honored this festival and all the other festivals in the middle of hard. So be doing beautiful in the middle of hard is, is what this story is about as well.